<gasps> oh, you guys. <laughs> 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 Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison. I hope you do what's so so well today. Yes, yes, ma'am. Um, today, you guys, we are making grilled cheese sammies. Yes. <laughs> I am so excited. I love grilled cheese sandwiches. Do you guys love grilled cheese sandwiches? I mean, I feel like a little kid <laughs> when I'm about to make some grilled cheese sandwiches to chow down on. Yeah. Today, we are going to make grilled cheese sandwiches, you guys, and not just any grilled cheese sandwiches. We are going to make a Reuben grilled cheese sandwich and a pulled pork barbecue grilled cheese sandwich. Yes. And of course, it's all going to be vegan. Mm -hmm. You know how we do around here. Yes. I'm so excited. Today's video is also a very special collaboration video. I am teaming up with two beautiful ladies here on YouTube, Songbird ASMR and ASMR Miss Nature. We are teaming up to make some amazingly delicious grilled cheese sandwiches. I'm so excited to see what these ladies have in store. So after you watch this video, please make sure you go watch their videos, which will be linked down in the description below. Please make sure to go check out their videos and let us know which grilled cheese sandwich you like the best. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited. So let's get started on assembling our grilled cheesy goodness. <clears throat> First thing we need to do is turn on our griddle. It's gonna get hot, so please forgive me if I get a little glossy, okay? So um, let's turn this on. I don't even know how to tell what temperature I have it on. I think this says, I think that's 300, okay. Perfect. Like I said before, we are going to make a vegan Reuben grilled cheese sandwich and a vegan pulled pork barbecue grilled cheese sandwich. So let's get started first on the Reuben. So what I have is some rye bread. Now I know this isn't the traditional like swirly dark rye bread, but it's all I could find in the store that was vegan and I'm not about to bake my own bread. No ma'am. No ma'am. <laughs> and then I've got some sauerkraut right here. I've got, this is the Daya provolone. I have the package right here. Cheese, traditionally Reuben's come with Swiss cheese. Couldn't find it. Provolone will do. It's just as delicious. Then we've got some tofurkey deli slices right here. This is what the packaging looks like. I like to show y'all what the packaging looks like so you'll be able to notice it in the store and get it. This stuff is really good. So I've got the deli slices and peppered flavor and it's got big chunks of cracked pepper in the in the slices. And then this one is hickory smoked flavor. Yum, this is already starting to get really hot. And then what else is going on the Reuben? Oh, I've got some horseradish mustard. And then I've got some Russian dressing. Traditionally, Russian dressing goes in a Reuben or it's dipped in a Reuben or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna be dipping my Reuben into that dressing today because I like a lot of sauce. I like it saucy, you know? Okay, so first things first, butter. Okay, this is the earth balance butter that we're gonna plop right on here. Ooh, it's hot. You know what I just thought of? Ooh, ooh, hold on you guys. All right, sorry about that. I forgot I didn't have the little guard thing. I don't know where it is. So I have to put a plate down here because this thing doesn't have a, like a little wall right here. So I don't want all the butter to fall off onto the table. So the first thing we're gonna do first is heat up some of the meat and get it cooked on the griddle. Ooh, yum. I'm just gonna throw that on there. All willy nilly. We'll put four slices down for now. Then we wanna use more butter. We're gonna use a lot of butter, you guys. <laughs> so I like to put a chunk of butter down and then I just put my bread right on top, okay? And let the butter melt under there and get all giddy, giddy, yummy in there. Okay, so then because vegan cheese tends to take a long time to melt, which I always say, we're gonna put some of this cheese already on there, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Just let that start getting all heated up. And then let's flip over some of the meat. Actually, you know what I'm gonna try to do is like melt some of the cheese just a little bit on the skillet. I don't want it to stick, just to warm it up a little bit. Ooh, see, it's already starting to get really soft. Okay, get it on there before it melts. 
Okay. That worked. Okay, good. I'm going to get a little bit more to put right down here on the bottom of the bread. Oh, <gasps> yum. Okay, yeah, you guys. You just need to, like, let it sit on there for just a couple of seconds. <gasps> okay, yum. Okay, and then let's get our meat on there. And then we're gonna put a little bit more cheese on there. Oh, you guys. <laughs> and then let's put some sauerkraut on our sandwich. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so now that the sauerkraut's on, let's add some mustard, horseradish mustard. Let's see how this tastes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. so then we lay another piece of bread on top and then what do we need more butter more butter mm-hmm mm -hmm. okay so let me just lay this big slab of butter down on there then while it's melting we flip it over on top Wah! just like so yeah <laughs> mm. let me squash it all in there <laughs> Yum! Okay, so let's let that one cook. For our second grilled cheese, which is the pulled pork barbecue grilled cheese, we are going to be using this product that I found at Walmart. This is from Morningstar, and usually I stay away from Morningstar because they put milk and dehydrated eggs in their products. No, thank you. So, I found this one, but it's vegan. It says 100% vegan on the package. So, I've never tried this product. Again, this is the veggie pulled pork. We'll see how it tastes. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna put this on the griddle with some butter, okay? And then we're just gonna add some of this pulled pork and cook it up and see how it goes, yum. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna be using the HEB brand of barbecue sauce. I really like this brand because it doesn't have any honey in it, so I can eat it. And it has like very minimal ingredients and I can understand all of the ingredients on here. So, and it's really good. I like this um, barbecue, so barbecue sauce. It's like really peppery, it's yummy. So we're just gonna dump some of this on there and heat it up on there. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you guys love barbecue sauce? Mm. I love it. All right. Okay, so I've got my butter down. This bread is actually from Sara Lee and it's really, really good. It, um makes like the perfect grilled cheese because it's like nice and thick, you see that? Oh, yum. Okay, so we have our slab of butter and before it's melted, we just lay this gorgeous piece of bread right on there. Okay, and then I have this cheese. This is right here. This is the Follow Your Heart um, Vegan Gourmet Cheese Alternative in the flavor cheddar. I've never tried this cheese, but if it's anything like the follow your heart parmesan cheese which is my favorite vegan cheese of all time then we got a good thing going okay okay i forgot we gotta warm it up on the griddle first let's see just a little bit because this stuff will fall apart i don't want that okay Ooh. okay <laughs> you guys mm. So in this grilled cheese, you guys, we are going to be putting the cheese. Then I've got some onions and pickles that we're gonna be putting on there. But first, we're gonna put some of the pulled pork. <laughs> wow. This looks so good. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's just put like a little bit of grilled cheese on the top of this, just a little. Let's put some pickles on there. Pickles, I love me some pickles. And of course, some onion, which I'm just gonna put on the skillet for just a second. Okay, and then now we gotta get ready for the other piece. So, we're gonna put our piece of bread on top and squish it. And then, I'll move that out of the way. Get another big old piece of butter on there. I'm telling you guys, grilled cheese isn't a grilled cheese without a ton of butter. 
Raise your hand if you agree. Oh no, it's all falling out. Okay, okay, disaster. Pause, 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 pause. Hold on, I will save you. Okay, get back in there. Okay, so, all right, let's try this again. Ready, set, oh, okay. Let's try this one more time. Ready, set, and flip. All right, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, we did have a little bit of disaster with the bread right here. Ain't no problem, ain't no thing. We're all good. Let me turn this heat up a little bit. Okay, so while this one is finishing up cooking, you guys, let's just make a regular grilled cheese sammy. How about that? So we'll just use both kinds of cheeses, okay? Get it all heated it up. Get it all just heat it up real quick and throw it on there. Oh my goodness, ah! You gotta work fast, otherwise it'll stick. Ah, it gets kind of messy. I like to put pickles in all of my grilled cheeses and onions. So I gotta put that in my grilled cheese. Got it, it's a must. <gasps> I have an idea, you guys. Hold on. So I was in the store the other day and I was in the frozen food section and like the french fry section and I saw that they had these hash browns and I looked at the ingredients and they were vegan and I don't know what came over me but I was like I want to get those so let's cook one up and put it inside the grilled cheese shall we how you know what let's do it let's just see what happens okay you guys so I finished assembling the last grilled cheese sandwich and I'm so excited I got them all plated up let's start cutting into these bad boys yes okay so this is the Reuben we're gonna cut into this one first see ooh, baby look at that ooh, look at that sauerkraut coming down yum all right okay so there's the first one okay so this one this one is the one that I put the hash brown in <laughs> Let's see how this one looks oh <laughs> yummy oh my goodness you guys okay so we got that one in there. Okay, now this one, this last one is the pulled pork one. I'm most curious about this one. Okay, you guys, so this one is falling apart on the bottom, I think because of the sauce. It's like too saucy and it like made the bread all soggy. No, okay, okay, you know what? This one is gonna be a fork and knife grilled cheese. We are gonna make it work because this just smells so, so good. <laughs> no, poor thing, oh well. Okay, you know what we can do? Here's what we can do. I'll just cut a little bite and then we'll see how it tastes. Okay, so here we go. Look at that, Look at I got a little pickle in there. I got the pulled pork barbecue sauce, the cheddar cheese, and of course, we are going to dip it in vegan ranch. Yes, ma'am. Yum. Mm. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's good. Oh my God, I love barbecue sauce and ranch. Hello, dream come true. Okay, so these veggie pork things from Morningstar are actually pretty good. They are a little chewy, I'm not gonna lie. They're not as like, you know, like when you eat the jackfruit pulled par barbecue pork. The jackfruit is so good. It's like melt in your mouth, like tears apart really easily. This is more chewy, but that's not to say it's not good. And oh my God, this is so good. Just follow your heart, cheddar cheese. What? Wow. That's so good. <laughs> okay, you guys, so this one has the hash brown in it, and then the provolone, and then the cheddar, onion, and pickle. Let's also dip this in some ranch. Oh, look, there comes the hash brown. <laughs> Mm. 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 
Wow. Okay. What was that? Okay, so now it's time to try the Reuben. Okay, and then let's dip it in the Russian dressing that I made. Mm. I don't even know if I've actually had like a legit Reuben, but this is so good. Mm. You guys, I wish you were here to have some of this with me. Wow. Mm. Those, these tofurkey deli slices are really, really, really good. I gave them to my husband. I made a sandwich for him. And he said it tasted like real meat. So that's good. Mmm. It's just so good. I need more water. I'll be right back. So I'm really excited because this weekend, my birthday was this week, and this weekend, the day that this video is gonna be coming out on Sunday, my friends and family are coming over and we're gonna have a barbecue. I'm so excited. We're gonna have an all vegan barbecue. Mm. I'm really excited. My friend who is like the biggest like picky eater I know ever, ever, ever like. Her diet is like chicken nuggets and Dr. Pepper and that's it. <laughs> she All she eats is chicken nuggets and she's coming over and I was like, you're coming over to my house, right? And she's like, yeah, I'm coming over. I was like, good, because we're having a barbecue. And she's like, looking at me like, oh God. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. It's gonna be good. I promise you. So, what I'm gonna make her, I'm gonna make her these burgers from Hot For Food. I'm gonna link the recipe up right here because it's actually so, so, so good. And if you don't know who Hot For Food is, like, Mm. but I'm gonna make her those burgers and then I think I'm gonna have her try um there's something in my eye and then because she's such like a chicken nugget freak I'm gonna give her the chicken nuggets from Gardein I'm gonna make her some of those and some vegan ranch and see how she likes it I'll keep you updated you guys Yes. You guys, I, I don't know which one is my favorite. They're all my favorite. They're all so good. And so you guys follow me on Snapchat because today when this video comes out is the day that they're all coming over. And I'm going to try to put everything that I make on Snapchat. Oh, I'm also going to make a macaroni salad. Oh my God. Hawaiian style macaroni salad. Oh my god. It's gonna be so good. My Snapchat is Madison is chill. So follow me. Or add me or whatever it is. Also, oh my gosh, this is so good. I like the one with the hash brown in it. <laughs> Um, I wanted to talk about something just real quick, not in its entirety because it, I could go on forever, but I got a lot of questions or people telling me that they want to go vegan and how do they do it and, you know, they talk about like how it's hard and 
stuff like that and like what's the best way to go about going vegan now I don't know if I'm the best person to ask but I mean I don't know I guess people ask me because they say you make it look so easy your food looks so good oh my god it's so good <laughs> but you know I get a lot of people asking me that so I kind of just wanted to say if you're thinking about going vegan, I'm so excited. Trust me, I want everybody to go vegan like yesterday. <laughs> but I'm under no illusion that it's feasible for everybody. But if it's something that you wanna do or wanna try, I am so excited for you. And I think that is great, <laughs> trust and believe. But what I will say is that ask yourself why you want to go vegan like what's your reasoning is it an ethical choice is it to save animals lives that's my choice is it a health choice you want to eat healthier let me tell you obviously I'm not vegan for health reasons <laughs> I put like 10 pounds of butter on this lots of cheese lots of barbecue sauce Lots of ranch. <laughs> is it, is it, what is it? Are you lactose intolerant? Like what, what are the reasons you want to do it for? And then once you decide what those reasons are, stick to that. And really use that as your, as your um, guiding force or something to go vegan. The second thing I would say is do not, unless you have 100% convictions, desire and passion to go vegan, do not go cold turkey vegan. I, I really don't recommend that because what's that's gonna do is that's just going to send you in a whirlwind of confusion you're not gonna know what to eat what to buy at the store you're just gonna be very very frustrated and the last thing I would want anybody to do is be frustrated with veganism because it's nothing to be frustrated with okay I think it's a beautiful thing <laughs> I really really do so what I would suggest is Tell yourself you're going to make three vegan meals a week. And then the next week, make it four. And then the next week, make it five. And see how you like it. You know what I mean? Like, see what happens, you know? Because when I first went vegan, I had, okay. Okay, because when I first went vegan, I was very young. I was like 22. And I was dating this guy who was vegan and he would like make me all the food and stuff like that. So it was easy. I didn't really have to put much thinking into it. So he taught me a lot and I learned a lot through him and it was easy because I had somebody to like guide me through it or whatever. But then I stopped being vegan and I just was vegetarian for years and years and years and years and years. And then I went back to veganism and let me tell you something like going to the grocery store was a very long process like it took me hours to go through the grocery store and look through all the labels and read all this shit and like oh my god they put animal products in everything <clears throat> and I made tons and tons of mistakes tons oh I just hit my tooth from a fork oh I still make mistakes just the other day or like a month ago or something I did a chip bang and I um, bought all my chips and I picked up this bag of chips from a company that I always buy chips from and most of their stuff is vegan and I um, bought it and brought it home and I was like doing my stuff and setting up and everything and I always just kind of like re double check labels like I'll be like what is in here again just to make sure and I saw that it had honey in it and I was like Heart knocker like I almost you know I almost not only did I buy it I almost ate it 
and I almost like kind of promoted it on my channel you know what I mean like and even if a vegan screws up and accidentally eats something with honey or milk in it like it's it's not the end of the world I guess you know for me is I just don't want to spend my money on on animal products I don't want to promote it um, at all so you know I guess the point I'm trying to make is is just try to ease into it because I think that's the best best way because there's a lot you need to learn about veganism and you your whole world gets like flipped upside down because you go from kind of mindlessly eating um, and I'm not saying you're mindless in what you're eating, but you don't have any restrictions, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, so you don't have to like ask what's in the food, read every single ingredient, be so, what are you doing? Be so frustrated when you're in the store because you don't know what this one ingredient means and that whey, W-H-E, actually ha is a form of milk and that <laughs> casein is a form of milk and and how to tell what everything is and what it all means and what's in this and what's in that. So it can be very frustrating, so take it slow. I That was a very long-winded way for me to say take it slow. And then you might end up really, 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 really liking veganism. You really might. Go on, baby. And my last bit of advice would be <clears throat> if you don't cook at home or you don't like to cook or whatever, that's all got to change. <laughs> For real. Because when I became vegan this second time around, you know, I had to learn how to make all my sauces and everything like that, like alternatives to cheese sauces and cream sauces, which is totally, totally possible and very, very easy. You just have to like really change your mindset. You know what I mean? When you think of cream sauce, um, now my mind goes to cashews or like blending cauliflower potatoes together with some nutritional yeasts and almond milk. Like I don't think of dairy cream butter or anything like that to make a sauce so yeah really changing your mindset and cooking at home <laughs> cook at home and you know cooking is awesome I love cooking <laughs> I have a feeling this video is gonna be really long so there's probably gonna be lots of cuts in it <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow. And if you're really thinking about becoming vegan, that is so amazing and I'm so excited for you. I never want anybody to think like I'm trying to talk them out of veganism. I just don't want people to have a really, really negative connotation associated with veganism because it's not negative. It's a good thing, <laughs> you know? So. And if you want to talk to me about it personally, email me, message me, girl, we'll kiki, yes. Anyways, I'm stuffed and I can't eat anymore. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.